horse riders I can is a little bit the mecca of the of the horse uh, sport and it's always uh, a big big pleasure to be here and it's one of the uh, it's one of the best places in the world to be for the horses and for us and it's just great when you enter here the arena with when it's full house it's it's an unbelievable feeling that you have when you when you enter here and uh, every year uh, every year again you want to be here and and then every year it all opens again when you ride in and it's great that uh, the moment i also uh, having uh, having uh, good performances because otherwise i wouldn't be here uh, the our chef they keep selecting me to ride here in the team so uh, that also gives a good feeling actually that uh, that he want me to ride here and that he want me to compete for belgium here for the belgium team and uh, it gives a lot of confidence and also towards the european championships i think it's uh, it's a good feeling and a good preparation to ride here uh, because it's the highest level and, and you can you can see a little bit where you are and I think it's, it's very nice. And what a couple of days this man has had. Brings forward a personal score of 4.05 penalties. Peter Devos and the 13-year-old gelding Espoir. Belgium bidding to win their first ever medal at an FBI European Championships. Team medal that is. Of course, Gregory Wathley, holder of the silver individual medal from two years ago. And what a performance this team of four professional lads have put up here with their wonderful horses. Everybody jumping clear in the first round yesterday. And they were looking very still and very motivated today. And of course these lads are very used to riding under pressure and producing the goods over and over again. As you see the strength of this team when their injury to the Philippines that we see on the right on the Hennessy Mohan's picture with his injury the first day in the training they were still able to bring in Jerome Gouret their number five and put themselves in equal third position as a team together with Ireland at this point And of course, if this man could just get a clear round, it'll really set it up for the others. But he's gone quite wide there. He's Five really... Seconds. Get him up, get him up. Six seconds to get home, Jess. Has he made it? Yes, he has. What a stonking, what a three days Peter Devos has had. He hasn't touched a pole over three days. And he stays on that 4.05. And very importantly, that's a north for Belgium. And let's not forget that all four members of the Belgian team, the only team to do this, jumped clears yesterday. We can be, we can be 20 who can win today. And tomorrow we can be all lost or the, or the opposite. And... That's a little bit uh, very uh, characteristic about our sport and that's also why you have to learn mentally to always to, to stay cool in your head and, and move up to the next goal. For me, that was the, I, was, I was still uh, quite young at that time and uh, it's a few years ago and uh, it opened a lot of doors for me. I was going there, it was my first time that I went to Spruce and I was, I was going there and I see the first day at the arena and I said, okay, what must it be to win here? It must be an unbelievable feeling. And then a few days later, I was on the podium and I won and it was like yeah, an unforgettable experience, of course. And for me, it opened a lot of doors from that moment on. Everything went, in a, went even faster and uh, I got other horses and then other invitations for the shows. And to me, it was, it was just great. And it's the same as what I said about Aachen, it's also a mythic place and it's, it's, it's great if you can have this on your palmares. I think it's, it's a very, very good uh, idea, a very, very good concept, even though it's, it's really not easy to win this kind of things uh, in a row. I think uh, Scott Bryce did last year, it was like, yeah, everybody, it was, it was like, actually it's almost impossible to win all of them and he did it, he managed it, so it was, but on the other hand it was also nice that somebody did it, so we, now it gives a lot of a lot of hope for a lot of other people to, to try to do the same and I think it's a really nice concept and especially because it's all, all really on, on those really big nice shows if you can compete there and you, you know that you can if you win that you next next time you're even more motivated and yeah, it's, it's, I think it's a really good concept yeah okay. in general to be honest I'm, I'm every day I'm, I'm very happy that I can work with my horses I'm um, I'm that kind of type I think that is already very satisfied when I when I when I can make a combination with my horse and I, I till now I always build up my horses myself and we try to make combination and, and try to, to, to put a goal and if you can if you can then manage to do that 
the horse gives you a lot back. That's what for me gives the best feeling. Uh, really, if you say about sportively results, for me, uh, of course, Bruce Meadows was one of the best moments that I had. And then winning here the Nation Cup a few years ago was also for me like one of the best moments in my career. I think I think the most important for me is that the horse have a good have a good mentality that he wants to that you feel that he wants to to work for you yeah. and that you feel he must have a lot of character but in a good positive way mm -hmm. and um, especially I see all the time when the horses even if they don't jump with a lot of show or whatever for me I don't I don't really like the horse with all the show I prefer a horse who does his thing in the ring and always jumps clear even a little bit on his own way, I don't care. If it, as long as it had the mentality to go clear, I think that's very important. And then I, I prefer also to ride uh, horses who have, who have more blood and, 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 and of course careful and, and a lot of scope, that's very easy. <laughs> but I think that the, the mentality of the horse is very important. Nowadays we have so many shows that we have every week show and every week a five-star show, so the horse are already competing so much. So to be honest, the horses who are competing at these shows at home, I almost never jump them. They do just like a lot of uh, a lot of small jumps just for for gymnastic, you know, that that, that, that the muscles keep uh, keep uh, being flexible and everything, and the body that you have to that you that you're working that they are losing the body and everything. But really jumping at home with the horse who are jumping at this level, I almost never do. The only thing what I what they do a lot at home is with my horses because they have so many so many shows to do. Okay, I'll try to alternate that I don't have every week a show but in between then I go a lot with my horses like in the forest that I go a lot in the field in my place they go a lot out of the stable you know that they for the head that again for the mentality that they are that they that they are again uh, motivated to go to the show that their head is a little bit clear you know yeah. back to the nature and I think that's also very important The thing is that uh, I am also uh, uh, I'm doing the commercial business of our, our fruit business, and uh, actually t together with my horses, it all came a little bit in a, in a fast circle and, and and together, you know. And uh, I built uh, built up both things a little bit myself, so it's also hard to give away one of the two. For sure, horses uh, are my priority, and uh, but also the other thing I really like to do it. I like to be also in another vo in, a, in another world, involved with other people. I like it, you know, the, the relations with other people and stuff. So I, I want to keep doing that and I love to do also the business there. And it's a family business we have. We have a really good team around with all my family and we work all together and that's why it's also possible to do it. Otherwise, it was not possible. My parents, they, they have always been riding horses, but like I have always been had horses like uh, for hobby. Uh, they have always been riding uh, as amateurs. And then, okay, of course, when we were little, they bought a little pony for us. And uh, first it was like amateur, and then step by step we went with the ponies, and then international competition with the ponies, and then further on and further on, and then that's how I roll into it. But it's not that I have a family background with professional riders, not at all. Actually, I, I, I build up a little bit my way myself. And uh, that's also, I, I'm actually very happy about it, that I did it myself and that I, I tried to, to, be, to be very uh, um, uh, independent, you know, and uh, that's, that's, that's really nice. We have um, Dirk de Meersman, he's a Belgian uh, top rider, he used to ride also a lot of, uh, always for the Belgium team. And he was a good friend of my parents, so um, he helped us a lot, you know, giving a little bit the, 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 the yeah, he helped me to, to, to get to learn this world a little bit and, and then give me a little bit of advice and that helped me a lot, of course, in the beginning. And um, even nowadays we still 
we still talk a lot together and but also now uh, I have other people also who help me but most of the thing I do I, we, I, I do on myself. I think I, I don't have really like one idol, but I, I have a few people who I, I, I see things from them, what they are doing, and then I, I try to copy a little bit one thing of this one and one of that one, and that way I try to make my own system a little bit. But for example, okay, it's a, it's a legend that John Whittaker, for example, I really like the way who is writing what he did, what he managed, and, uh, and I took a little bit, for, I try to see a little bit what he is doing, yeah, but on the other hand, also like Ludwig Beerbaum is also a, a, a great, uh, a great, uh, personality in the sport and also from him I tried to that was always a bit because I never had like really one trainer I always tried to to take to take from everybody with my eyes the ideas and, 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 and try to make my own system